So the concept of substitution is um, just as simple as replacing the variable with what you are told the variable is equal to in a question. So what you're going to do is um, take a variable in an expression, for example, this one, 2x minus 6. If I told you what x was, if I said x is 5, you're going to replace the x with 5 and figure out what that will equal. Remember, 2x means 2 times x. So when you replace it, you're going to be multiplying. Now, down here in the explanation, it talks about when substituting, you should always use brackets. The reason for that is if we use a multiplication sign, we might get it confused with an x. And so we want to use brackets to represent the multiplication, which is why we did that work in the fall on using, when we did bed mist, we were trying to get used to using brackets to represent multiplication. So here's an example. In the expression 3x minus 8, you were told that x equals negative 2. To solve, what you do is you replace the x with negative 2, using a bracket, and then you just follow Bedmus. You multiply, and then you add or subtract, and you get your answer. Um, so let's just look at a couple other ones. So what if 3y, um, what about 3y minus y squared? And I say that y is equal to 3. All you're going to do is replace the y with 3 and use brackets. So 3 times 3 is 9, 3 squared is 9, and you get your answer. Um, I could have negative x plus 8y. And what if I said that x was negative 3 and y was 2? To do that one, okay, again, I'm going to replace the x with what it is. Now watch this one. This one's a little bit tricky. The negative sign in front of the x stays there. Then you use brackets to replace the x with what I told you it is. So that one's a little bit tricky because there's kind of a double negative. This is saying negative x. Well, if x is negative 3, that means negative negative 3, which actually negative times a negative is actually positive. So those are just examples of substitution, and you're going to have an opportunity to practice those and get better at them. Ask questions if you're unsure of anything.